If you have been watching the news for the last couple of every day for 7 months, you might be thinking, this is it baby, hold me. You have nothing to fear. Hypothetically, there are several ways the world can end. I will now tell you why in practice they will not happen. Killian, will this video cause existential dread? No, quite the opposite. That's German behavior. Bloody Germans scaring people. Ah, oh, the world is terrifying, like a waiter bringing a burnt Wiener Schnitzel. Ignore them. You need a friendly, loving, huggable Swede to tell you that everything is going great and will go great forever. So let's start with something fun and positive. Total nuclear annihilation. I want to describe how a nuclear war could happen. But then I am become demonetized. So I can't use any real examples, so instead I'll uh, go and use some ob objects from the kitchen. Um, okay, so what if saffron and honey decided to go to war and this forces ketchup and caviar to also enter, but meanwhile they're fighting basmati rice. Oh! YouTube, no! Most life would be eradicated. Sadly, not everyone. Not cockroaches, and they've made milk from cockroaches. That means human survivors would have access to cockroach yogurt and cockroach cheese. If cheese exists, it's not even a post-apocalyptic dystopia. And because the earth will be inherited by doomsday preppers, severe paranoia will be added to the entire human gene pool. The next human generation won't see any point in nuclear war because everyone will own bunkers. Irregardless of perpetrators, Chile will always survive. Mmm, empanadas. Do not congratulate them, the entire country itself is thousands of nukes on top of each other, but we like to call them Boom Mountains. The Masterpiece 2012, The Road and Mistborn. These share pretty much the same story. Super volcanoes cover the world in ash. The most active one is Yellowstone, which is supposed to go off Tuesday, making the US and Canada uninhabitable. Okay. That sounds like a you problem. Unfortunately for the sophisticated world, this would create a type of nuclear winter. That's great! That means extermination from volcanoes is actually impossible. It's instead because of an ice age. The streams stop moving and there's like a tsunami. Humans try to find a solution to global warming and freeze the planet. And Charlie builds a train, cannon. Or a Norwegian woman, tired of quarantine, decides to kill everyone. All three equally possible, and they have the same result. No more cheap winter jackets during summertime. If I understand the science correctly, you're probably not gonna make a sixth one. But nature science has created an artistic rendition of a real ice age. We can see that this is the worst thing that could happen to Earth. I am actually not worried. We can fix all the problems an ice age would cause. Even on a global scale, we would just have to... gather close. Thus, it won't lead to an extinction. It will lead to the best thing ever. Dystopian megacities. Colossal vertical greenhouses. Dark deteriorating buildings giving heat allowing the last remnants of man to survive. The air filled with soot from the power plant required to heat the massive penthouses of the rich. <laughs> Drooling, I'm sorry, it's so beautiful. I'm already breaking my promise. Claiming an ice age might not happen. I, I, I can't do that to myself. Hmm, now that I think about it, our most formidable enemy would actually excel during an ice age. Toaster Uprising The robots taking over humanity is guaranteed. A robot algorithm already r completely rules me and my colleagues. And let me tell you, it's great! I love the algorithm. Though them exterminating us is another story. The biggest threat to IT security is the human error, therefore the human error needs to be eliminated and so it goes. Robots would use war to exterminate us because while they are information gathering, they would come across this video and find out all other ways are pointless. And I think in a war with robots we would destroy them. They would always calculate our perfect tactic for every battle and us humans would instead do something too stupid to foresee. Maybe not. Maybe they have the ability to know our every move. 
hyper-advanced self-learning from us humans. And what would they learn? Yes, to be racist. We all remember what happened to Tay AI. The robots will never defeat us because they will be too busy hating robots from production lines on other continents. And because I have now proven the only winning move is not to try, they won't try. This can't happen, they are too logical. But what if the enemy wasn't logical? Zombies! Your first reaction is most likely zombies aren't profitable anymore, why would Big Pharma create them? They won't. But if someone eats a winged rat and the disease makes you want to travel, eventually they are going to eat something that makes you want to eat someone. Unlike other things I've mentioned, zombies are a very limited resource. In the first five seasons of The Walking Dead franchise The Walking Dead, <laughs> they killed 1000 zombies. They're, they're like 20 people. If every 20 people killed 1000 zombies over two years, we'd have zero zombies after three. In The Last of Us, it's Brain Mushroom Zombies. In The Last of Us 2, okay, never played it, but thousands of spoilers have been shared with me. Not one of them mentioned zombies, so I'm assuming they're gone. That's why some media try to buff them, make them run really fast, give them boss zombies who help. These are irrelevant, because winters would always destroy their brains. If we have winters, Globlal Warming. I can't imagine a world after global warming, because there are no good films to show me that. The closest thing we have is Interstellar, and they call it a total ecological collapse. Sounds way scarier than global warming. It's like cozy sauna for the planet. How to fix global warming. Fix number one. Get people to be responsible. No. I remember seeing Google's electric car and thinking, it's not worth it. Let's just all die. And electric cars for people with self-respect are super expensive. Fix number two. Air conditioners are expected to go from 1 billion to 5 billion in 2050. That means if it keeps quintupling every 40 years, we should have 108 billion in 2400. We have, the Earth has 5 quintillion tons of air, on average refrigerates 1 ton per hour, 24 tons a day times 180 billion. 4.3 trillion a day, that, uh, not gonna work. We can't cool the planet with air conditioners. If no one did the math, we would never know. Fix number three. Yeah. I don't know any Dutch people. Maybe we should consider unleashing more greenhouse gases until we hit the peak so it doesn't stress us out anymore. We won't starve from an ecological disaster because we can just eat all the animals that die. Solved. Unless... This would cause us to eat warm-blooded animals during Lent. That could cause the actual apocalypse. Do you own a Twitter? Then this one will seem the most likely. In the most influential work of all time. All life ends because of a ring in space. But in the second most influential, it ends more badass. I don't even have to guess how it's gonna go down. It's been perfectly described. First, a trumpet sound. Not specified how. Just wonderfully, so they won't be using a stock sound to save money. I hope it's a jazz trumpet solo. The loyal will be summoned to heaven. The loyal sounds like a legal nightmare, so they're probably just gonna summon everyone who hasn't broken the Ten Commandments to avoid litigation. Which uh, means I, I won't be joining you. I, I don't want to admit this, but uh, I have... Uh, worked on Sundays. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, with, with this job, days flow together. Thus, me and a bunch of dudes who cheated on their wives will be stuck in a dogless world because all dogs go to heaven. And it will have the coolest music. This apocalypse has inspired the best music. And while you guys are up there in heaven playing croquet or whatever, we are gonna watch Michael sword fight a dragon with seven heads. It's not even gonna be a real apocalypse. I'm not even gonna stop making YouTube videos. Just change them to appeal more to angels. This was supposed to be a science video. Okay, fine. Some dumb space shit. A muscular philosopher with a high sperm count once said, It doesn't matter what you do, the universe will whoop your ass. Though it could itself get its ass whooped in several ways. And we could come up with more ways if hard sci-fi wasn't too boring for general audiences. 
no need to worry about any of this. Hot take, the universe is immense. So there has to be someone out there looking out for stuff like this. It's so big in fact, it's most likely not even a fancy job. You know, some of the people stopping the universe from ending are currently on union strikes, really terrifying their bosses. On the other hand, local dumb space shit they will ignore. Local dumb space shit. A comet is headed towards Terra. Comets are made of ice. Salt melts ice, so if it hits the ocean we should be fine. But what if it's a giant asteroid? NASA said they would require 5 years to launch an anti-asteroid operation. That was in 2013. We've been safe for 2 years. Uh, the sun though, it can grow hot, it can explode, it can freeze. According to scientists, the sun is more fragile than a human baby. It once shot a laser at Mars and destroyed it. Hasn't happened to us so far. Though that could very well be because we've sacrificed humans to it. Something we recently stopped doing. The government might need to reconsider this anti-sacrifice stance. Then we would be completely safe from space. Unless it kills us immediately after I finish this sentence. Oh thank god. <sighs> I guess the professionals know what they are doing. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. It might have given them the impression that we don't know what we're doing. Alien invasion. If a hyper-advanced alien species wanted to annex us, they could just park in our atmosphere and tell us to surrender or die, and we would surrender. To heck with fighting! I, I don't understand undercover alien conspiracies. This isn't Warhammer 2020. I'm not gonna lift a finger to battle Xenos if they want my PS4 or whatever. On the other hand, if they want to exterminate us by, for example, destroy resources we need to survive, or cooler aliens would send giant monsters. I might consider fighting in a giant mech. Though I probably won't have to, I've seen American films and they seem pretty confident that if an alien fleet attacks, they got this. I choose to believe them. If there's one thing I trust, it's the US government. Worst case scenario, they show up tomorrow, declare a martial arts tournament to decide our fate and we, we can't do it because we are social distancing. No, they're supposed to be smarter than us. They won't plan an event during a pandemic. So let's talk about what you really are here for. Pandemic. Don't demon on me, YouTube. I know your first question. Is it toilet paper? Will toilet paper save us? Let's look at the facts. I own toilet paper. I never got the virus. Everyone I know who owns toilet paper never got the virus. The only person I know that did get the virus lived in resort seasonal worker housing. That means he did not own toilet paper. The resort did. So... No, uh, toilet paper won't help. I have to qu clarify so YouTube don't flag me for m misinformation. But believing misinformation is the reason we will survive a pandemic. You all know a friend of a friend that kept going to parties and was never affected. Because whichever divine being that rules over us, be it God or faith, it sure loves people who make stupid decisions. Lemmy smoked a pack of cigarettes and drank one bottle of Jack Daniels every day and died of prostate cancer. If this current pandemic had gone perfectly, I know this is what would take us. But it didn't, so it can't. Now finally, let me tell you how the world will actually end. The only logical end. Sadly, everything has to come to an end, even humanity. It will be a happy end though. And it has already started, with Steam allowing adult games. There's now so much capital in the genre, they will eventually fund the perfect VR experiences, and waifus can't bear children. What about women? They are less likely to invest time in such lewd filth. True, but if you haven't noticed, every book genre that exists has been subjugated by the romance horde. You search new cyberpunk books and the best seller is gonna be like Evil party leader with a six pack wants to mass surveillance humanity Because he's a total alpha, but he's soft when he's with this one girl Now he'll show her why they call him Dictator I bet you want to read that Appreciate my videos because I have options But uh, Fictional shape-shifting soft alphas can't sire children In some books they can bear them, but the point is This is the way the world ends 
Not with a bang, but with noises of ecstasy, some whimpering. But if it happens when, 10 seconds after you finish this video, so long and thanks for all the comments.